Hi guys, Steady Eddie here, back on the main street of Pattaya. It's Saturday afternoon, it's just after midday and it is a scorcher. That long, long plane journey seems so worth it now. I mean, I could be back in England in the cold, miserable, depressing... Oh no, I've already said all of that. Listen, this is Pattaya. It is absolutely gloriously hot and sunny and I'm happy here, okay? I like it here. So anyway, you may be wondering what is happening in Bataille right now? What's Bataille like at this moment in time? Well, my first answer to that is it's bloody good. It's good stuff. Now, you keep hearing these negative things. You know, I've heard quite a few people saying the tire is dead, it's quiet, it's supposed to be peak season, but it's really, really, uh, you, you know, a bit, a bit dead. None of that's true. The tire is lively. I've been out uh, around the, you know, Soibacau, LK metro area a couple of times uh, of a night time. I've been around Walking Street area. It's Pattaya is busy. Pattaya is as it should be in January. So, you know, I mean, whether there's more or less visitors in than what they should be, it's irrelevant. If you're coming out here to Pattaya, then you will find everything, uh, you know, is up and running. Now, I've only been here a few days, so I'm not going to act as if, you know, I'm bang up to date on all that's happening here. Um, <clears throat> It's just nice to be here, but what I will say is that last night I went to a great little bar called Avatar Bar, but I've never been before, but it's a really, really, really nice bar, and I, it's in the Tree Town area, and I met one of the YouTube greats, one of the, one of the great vloggers, uh, the one and only Jeff Carter. It was absolutely wonderful to meet him, and hopefully we can do a proper video uh, sometime. Maybe an interview, you know, uh, about Jeff and his history on YouTube, that sort of thing. But I will be meeting up with Jeff again, and yeah, we'll get a video together. It was, it was really, really great to meet him. Okay, so here's a brief flashback scene from last night. Okay, it's steady Eddie here, it's tree town, it looks really, really busy here. I met my friend Andrew here. Uh, we're, we're having a bit of a night out here and quite a special night because tonight I'm going to meet one of the great YouTube legends, in fact the vlogger who was the first Thai vlogger that I ever watched, the one and only Jeff Carter. I'm actually thrilled to be able to meet him, I haven't met him yet but it's coming up very very soon. We're in Tree Town, Pattaya. Well, of course, we've got those awful copyright issues once again. Uh, YouTube, you know, don't like copyrighted music, even in the background. But as you can see, this is Tree Town, and this is very, very busy. And this bar, Avatar, is a really, really nice bar. I really, really do like this one. There's a birthday party or something going on here. Well, I've got to say, the grub here is really, really good. Um, I used, really enjoyed this. This is a birthday bash or something like that. But, you know, chicken, salad and all kinds of stuff. And this is the lady here who cooks it. Really, really enjoyed that. So, nice atmosphere in this bar. Really nice bar, nice food, 
makes everything so good for seconds helping. Jesus, for a minute there I thought it was back in Toxted during the riots. Anyway, one of the great things about uh, being in Pattaya and being in this lovely glorious climate is that I get far more exercise here. I mean, I keep seeing these reports uh, urging people to walk, uh, you know, maybe for 10, 10 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day, whatever. See, in England, I don't want to walk anywhere. It's too cold and damp and miserable. Whereas here, I think nothing of going for a, an hour's walk uh, around the town uh, and along the beach every day. So I'm, I'm, you know, I'm getting far more exercise. I've actually had more exercise in the last few days here than I have in the last, you know, almost a year back, at, back in England. The only thing I need to do on a personal level I gave up the booze for about nine months and I've recently, you know, been drinking a bit over Christmas and since I've been here. Now it's the easiest thing that when you wake up in the daytime to have a walk in this hot climate and... Hello, oh, oh, how's it going? How's it going? Yeah, it's nice to be recognised as well, really, really is. Um, <clears throat> what was I saying? Yeah, you see, in the daytime, you have a walk in this hot climate and what happens then well you know you slip into that routine of sitting down for a few beers and it becomes a daily thing now i've got to get i've got to get off that i will do eventually but you know for now i'm i'm taking a few too many beers i can control it i'm nowhere near back to the air drinking to the level that i was before but anyway See what I mean uh, when I say the tide is a great place to have a walk. There's so much life and energy and colour and all that kind of stuff around you. It's, it's a pleasure to take a walk every day. Nobody forces me to take a walk. I do it anyway. But anyway, what's happening in Pattaya right now? Well, it's kind of same old, same old, which can only be a good thing. Um, I've noticed a few more bars open. A uh, couple of go-go bars and LK Metal, that sort of thing. What I did notice is that um, if you go past a lot of those go-go bars, and, and on walking seat as well, they don't seem to have so many drinks promotions outside. Usually you see girls with, you know, bored saying, you know, so much for, for draft beer. There's, there's less of that. I walk past a lot of those places and they're... Uh, you know, I'm, I must admit I'm one of those people who's tempted if I say, you know, draft beer at a bargain price. But uh, maybe, that's, maybe that's a sign that they're trying to drive out the cheap Charlies. Maybe, maybe that's, that's what it is. But um, never mind. I'd still say that if you go in go-go bars in Pattaya or in Bangkok or in Phuket for that matter, you don't get the kind of hassles that you will get in other parts of the world. I still feel quite safe in these places. So, like I said, I'm not going to come here and pretend that I know everything. It's been about about ten months, nine, to, yeah, about ten months since since I've been away from away from here. So I've kind of lost touch of what's going on. But if you plan the holiday, or if you're in this region, this part of the world, and you're planning on there, uh, maybe visiting Thailand, and you're thinking of Pattaya, 
Yeah, get, get it. it's a good feel-good factor right, right now. There's, I haven't seen anything particularly negative. Prices for things, beer, food, it's about the same as it was last time anyway. So, like I said, there's a few doom and gloom merchants out there. People saying it's very, very negative. It's, it's you know, deathly quiet and all that. It's none of those things. The tyre is, is pretty good right now. So, yeah, pay it a visit. It's well worth it. Okay, so there's nothing sensational to report from Pattaya just yet, but I'm really glad to be here. I mean, just look at this place. We walk down the beach, you know, there are all these lovely boats and all the activities going on. It's, it's a good place to be right now. I'd also like to say a big thank you to all of those new subscribers. Since I've done that last video, uh, that video gains oh, hundreds and hundreds of new subscribers. So, welcome to you all. Uh, thanks for pressing that button. And as for the Steady Eddie Travels channel, well, you know, there's, a, you know, there's no rush. There's going to be all the time in the world to visit more places and bring more reports. I'll be doing regular videos, hopefully maybe three a week or something like that. A couple of live streams here and there. So anyway, wherever you are, whether you're in Hello. the All cold right. of England, America, Canada or wherever, or you're in the warmth of Australia, thanks for watching. Have a great day, a great evening, or whatever you're doing, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Oh, and by the way, before I go, I've discovered this great little place on Soy Bacow, which is very good value and has lovely grub. This here is pork steak with fries and gravy. Really enjoyed that. Over the bargain price of 199 baht. Okay, cheers.